Uh, hello, Cyberland. Today, what we're going to be talking about on this channel, the channel being Old Part Hacks, and I'm your host, Marlon, anyway, are the bushings that go in the running board steps, uh, the power retractable running boards for most of the later model Ford pickups and SUVs, specifically things like the F-150, uh, the Exp Expedition, the Navigator, those sort of things. The bushings are in here. Where the bushings go, by the way, if you've ever messed with this, this is, of course, how nasty these things get over time. I still have to finish cleaning this up. But the bushings go here. If you look right here, at this point, you'll see where it's nice and black in places, and then you've got the hole through. That's where these bushings go. And they are held in place in the, in the bracket by this, which is the other half of the hinge. You know, hinge thingy. And there, the pins are pressed fit through these bores. Anyway, so what's in the box? Ooh, box. In the box, we have a baggie and two loose bushings. Box over left shoulder, as per tradition. Anyway, these bushings are used on the motor shafts. So if you're doing the running board, the hinge that is running with the motor, these are the shafts that the motor shaft, or the bearings that the motor shaft runs through. These, in this bag, are the actual bearings for all the other points on there. There's 16 of these in a bag because that's how many points float around. And this is one of those bushings. What you, as you can see here, you have a steel outer shell, and then this lining is PTF whatever, PTFE, I believe. And this is what goes first. First, the everything is good when you first get a new one of these. And then over time, crud gets in here, wears out the, the plastic, then you're steel on steel, and then things start to rust. And then the steel rusts through and you're left with trash. So anyway, that's what these things look like the inner diameter is 10 millimeter. If memory serves me, the outer diameter, let's find out here, I believe is 12 millimeters, but let's check. Real quick light. I should have had the calipers out. I'm sorry, folks. Brain is not always fully functional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're 12 millimeter. Um, to use these, by the way, the one thing they tell you to do is before you try and put them in, come in with a Dremel tool, thinnest blade possible, and split the split. And that gives you room to shove them in. Anyway, as you're going through the process, this is what your new bushings will look like. I will link a little information down below. I may even give you the name of the guy I got these from, but I'm a little unhappy with them. I ordered them, and it took a month for them to get here. But anyway, that's all I've got for you right now. The bushings to do the navigator, my navigator step, and uh, if you've got a F-150 or an Exploder, or not an Exploder, but an Expedition, these are your bushings for that power running board step. Anyway, have fun all. Bye-bye for now. Oh, by the way, if you like this video, if you find it useful, please hit the like and perhaps think about the subscribe. I keep forgetting to say that. Anyway, I hope you all have a great day and don't get caught.